stream is ready. Please, you turn your camera on. What? <laughs> Mic I'm back. <laughs> Here I am with an unmuted mic on stream. I'm a pro streamer. <laughs> um, can you pop the camera back on real quick? What is food? Uh, one second here. to hear except all these angry Roombas, right? Oh my god, I can't type. I'm so sorry. I was trying to type sweet and sour pork, <laughs> but for some reason I typed SW. <laughs> what, what is food? Southwest? <laughs> Southwest? <laughs> South by Southwest? No, no. By Alfred Hitchcock? Right. I fucking tried, man. <laughs> it was an effort. It is very spicy. They put a lot of that's delicious. Extra spice. It is very good. I have jerky. It's that is actually, also good. It's actually pretty good, though. You guys are actually all over here eating like semi-healthy things. I'm over here eating sour patch kids. <laughs> I, have, I have pocky and shrimp chips. So I'm I'm <laughs> all right. Let's adult. Go, go. <laughs> yeah. I have, I have whiskey. <laughs> yeah. Again, I'm 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 I have had not I've not had any booze in a while. I mean, it's probably a lot better for me, but I, I, I'm, I'm gonna give myself a goal, or I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give myself a, a gold medal today for not having gone to the booze store to pick up some booze. So here we are. I didn't even crack open the red wine, which I hate. <laughs> oh, well done, well done. That's impressive. <clears throat> right, so we you have, hate yeah. red wine? Um, let's put it this way: I drank a bottle of gin, and I, I don't drink gin. So here we are. Uh, I don't like red wine. I'm, a, I'm definitely a white slash rosé drinker, if uh, we're talking wines. The sweeter, the better. There's some really good uh, semi-sweet reds out there. Is there? Yeah. I wouldn't know, because all red wines are trash. <laughs> <laughs> Especially shut, the shut. ones they do for communion at the Catholic Church. That's right. <laughs> what is this, cranberry juice? Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right, um, so we're in the vents, y'all. We are in the vents proper. Um, you're headed uh, across the torus of the station. Uh, the vent kind of curves slightly to the left, I believe, since we were going to the right vent. Um, I think what happens here is... Oof, okay, let me I just get rid of that. Um, <laughs> I think what happens is you guys are, whoa, too big. I'm a professional. Um, you guys are headed through, and I think you get to the point um, in the other, um, the next, uh, whatchamacallit, cargo area <laughs> over. And there are two more vent openings that you could in enter there. And assuming, uh, you move forward, there's probably more vents. So you probably have easy access to all of the other uh, rooms or uh, cargo areas. Um, is there anywhere that you would like to um, drop off any specific cargo area? Is uh, really um, kind of catching your eye? or? Well, I would advise perhaps going to the one most distant from the noise we're hearing. So directly where the, the one ship was docked or oh. like one before or the one before. one before what do you guys think <laughs> what if we drop off at the one closest to that bridge makes the trip oh so like short. this one right here yeah okay what do you guys think so you guys can go direct sure. from that door all the way to the um to the the bridge whatever to the tourists 
We're gonna make a break for the hallway here. Is that what we're getting at? Those oh. things are in the hallway. I would advise we proceed with caution. So they're the ones that are banging by your door were like here, and I think um. Well, Cephas... Central distance away, by the way. Just yeah. Uh. Hmm. I'd probably give it. Um, each of these bays is probably about. S hmm. Maybe like a hundred feet across. Oh damn. So. So quite a distance. So they probably won't hear us. If we're pretty quiet. Yeah. So each of these hallways is like, or the from wall to wall is like fifty feet. Ish. Sick. The dimensions are a little off here. This isn't. This is definitely not accurate. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Alright, so I think you guys are over here, right? And you're trying to get into um, one of these. Uh, this one right here. Probably the first um, vent door that you come upon. Um, can I get an order of some sort uh, as you guys are making your way through this? Uh... I will go first. Okay. I will volunteer to be behind our captain. Okay. I will be behind them. I don't mind bringing up the rear. Okay, so we got Chad, we got Dr. Amber. Um, I think as you guys get to maybe halfway across this room right here, and you can see like the kind of wall break between this section, or like there's the door here, or the vent entrance here and the vent entrance here. Um, you're about halfway across this area, and um, uh, you see some metallic things pop out of the wall, um, uh, and you hear the telltale voice of the station computer kick on, and it says, uh, laser cleaning commencing in 10 seconds. Laser cleaning in 10 seconds. Uh, so, oh, no. <laughs> so I think... Um, uh, as uh, as Cephas opens the hatch and starts going down, followed by Ellie and uh, QB, I think uh, Dr. Amber and Cad, give me some stress rolls as the countdown is timing down as you're rushing on hands stress. and knees through the... Uh... So we're currently in the middle of this um, room? Uh, yeah, so you're you're in the room now. I think there's nothing, there's no <clears throat> cargo in this room, but um, uh, I think Cephas, Ellie are in the room already, and I think uh, if QB hasn't already jumped in, he's like right at the edge, like kind of waiting for the mm. last two to kind of <laughs> but you hear the uh, oh, go ahead, what'd you get there? Um, Amber? I got a three. You got a three, okay. So I got that's a three. A, all right. With all your auto successes over here. So I think what happens here <laughs> is <clears throat> you guys haul ass. Th uh, it's definitely not like a horror or suspense movie where there's like a an imminent death threat. I think you guys hear it and you just like double time uh, <laughs> or maybe like uh, I want to say maybe even Cad, you know, maybe his race doesn't get back pain so he literally stands but folds his back so he's like in like a an l-shaped piece and he's literally run, running like almost like naruto style through the tunnel um <laughs> but like crouched i down, look like so. ed from um, ed and eddie here is that what we're getting at maybe yeah so my arms like flailing out me like definitely like if he was in the tunnel and this is the tunnel and like amber's having to like Kinda... I'm racing it in my heels, yo. On her hands, uh, he's literally like, he stood up and his like, head's <laughs> here, arms flung back for balance. And he's just like, <laughs> <laughs> run it like I like it. <laughs> Most aerodynamic way to run. Exactly. Almost yeah, like exactly. a Naruto run, it looks like. Yeah. yeah. If you run yeah. that fast, they cannot shoot you. <laughs> I don't have to outrun them, I just have to outrun you, okay? Um. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> so you guys make it through and jump I'm not through good at running. <laughs> as well with oh you succeeded you you're just like oh 10 second timer I I got this and you guys I, are like I got you have time for a vent selfie. Yeah, <laughs> a vent selfie. I have time for a vent selfie. Yeah, I think Hashtag 
copper. <laughs> okay, so I think what happens is I think is you accidentally put it on video, but you capture the the laser cleaning starting on the opposite side, <laughs> oh, no. turn on, and just like start scouring the the vent way, and it's no, like headed toward you. Screaming. And then you like, well, you you take it as you're at the entrance to the room. So I think like you fall down. Okay. Yeah, so I think you're, I think you're all right. Or even better, she's like Look so focused selfie. on that that she's not paying attention. So I just like reach up and grab her. Like, come on. <laughs> I just like hold up my phone, going, "Guys, look at this selfie. It's so cute." We almost um, died. <laughs> All right, so um, you guys are um, in this area now in this room. Um, same exact layout. There's a computer console on the one side. Um, I think it's probably on though, so you can try to access it. Um, you're probably still locked out of those system functions that you were before. Um, but what would you guys like to do in this area? You don't hear any banging, or you maybe you faintly hear it, but it's definitely down um, in the cargo area where you once were. Oh god. Um, oh, uh, actually, side. Out? Sorry, uh, I didn't mean to interrupt. Uh, but side note, uh, I believe both. Um, uh, mm, uh oh. Uh, uh -oh. I feel like both um, Cad and uh, Doctor Amber get to ask me a question as well, since they got mm. stressful mess. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> well. Mm -hmm. question uh, what's the best way to go to our destination uh, yeah. I think the best what way is the best route good question um, I mean pretty much straight out um, unless there's anything out in the, the tunnel which you can't hear nearby um, your best bet is to like open those gates and just direct travel to the um, central pylon access tunnel right here, or access uh, corridor. Okay. Um, and then make your way to the elevator. Okay. Now, what's the safest route? <laughs> oh, the safest route? <laughs> um, I mean, hmm. I think. Uh, yeah, th I mean, honestly, that, that would probably be the safest route, because you're, you're, oh, okay. sure, you're not entirely sure what's going on with the sentient ship over here, um, yeah, and you definitely thing. don't want to be around Monster Central over here. No, yeah. no, definitely That's not. That's definitely the safest wet bet over there. Uh, Cad, did you have any uh, question, any direct question? It can be, it can be like, how do we get here what should i look out for what's the best way to do this what sh what's going on here blah 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 yeah i'm curious to know if the ai is fully aware of what's going on with these things that are running around or oh. if it's just okay doing its thing in spite of them i th Ooh, think i think uh you probably know that the whatever what was the this medical device thing um, that came from the sentient ship that kind of corrupted and messed up all these people? Uh, I think you uh, you're pretty certain it corrupted the station AI in such a way that it either considers these like modified creatures like okay because like that's why it was like oh yeah the station administrators on their way but like mm -hmm. it couldn't literally be like oh what's their name? Um, that information <laughs> so okay. you're, you're, you're pretty certain it's either like fully integrated with whatever like intelligence or sentience was on that ship or uh has been changed in a way that it's working in tandem with with it and whatever those cool. things are um, i don't know if you allow one. inspiration but uh, <laughs> yeah sergeant sergeant graystone gave uh, uh amber a reroll so she can, on one action, we'll if she it. messes up, we'll she can reroll. Uh, side note, um, I think 
Uh, so where are you guys headed off to now? You're headed to... We said there's another computer console that's on, but like we're locked out of the system entirely, or can we... Um, there might be sections that you'd be able to access. Ooh. I would like to try to find any information I can off that computer. About maybe the ship that docked before, or okay, yeah. any incoming supplies, or anything like that. Um, I guess, um, let's see here. I don't think you need to roll for that. Well, let's see here. Um, yeah, I don't think that's something risky. I think you um, can kind of circumnavigate the stuff you're locked out of uh, to try to find info. And it's not specifically with station functions, so I think you could probably find the info kind of somewhere or cobble together info using like the no local net forum stuff if there was anything in there about the ship um let's see uh i think as far as you can tell it's not like a ship from a race that is known um and it's like hella old like uh uh like the initial scans put it at like 30 plus thousand years old. Um, so you said we don't know the race that was on it. Yeah, it's, okay. um, and I think it's it's very, like, it looks biological in shape, uh, oh. but it is metallic. Um, I think maybe it looks almost like a, uh, think of yes. like, uh, think of like a shark, like in shape or whatever. Um, maybe, um, where there would be like tail fins, it kind of goes out to like any sort of like um, engine exhaust kind of section. Um, but the like the front actually has like there's like a fin. Um, there's like where it would have like um, uh, like flip not flippers but like um, what are those called dorsal fins? I guess. Oh yeah, on the, yeah. <laughs> yeah. On the head. Yeah. It's dorsal fin. Yeah. So it's got the it's got the head fin, know. it's got the it's got the hand fins, um, <laughs> it's got the meaning. underside fin, yeah. So it's it's fully like almost shark looking. So so we can tell off of the information on the computer that it's kind of organic and also mechanic in a way. Yeah. Well, as far as you can tell, it's like it's there wasn't anything that was like like biological in the construction of the ship. It just has a very like non-standard ship shape it's very biological looking um, it. but it is mechanical yeah and I think the outside um, have you seen like uh, like HG Geiger art like where there's that kind of like oh um, like oh, uh, well I mean even like an alien like from the movie aliens that sort of like thing like where like there's like a lot a lot of, lot of segmentation and lo God. a lot of texture and stuff there's a lot of texture uh, which you would normally find on spaceships because they're typically like smooth for um, like especially if they're designed to go into and out of atmospheres, you wouldn't want anything like producing drag or whatever like that. So, uh, yeah, it's definitely a weird-looking ship, uh, from what you can tell, and uh, you probably find some pictures of it as well. Okay. Do we do we happen to find pictures of any kind of scans of what was on board, or we? I just don't recognize the race. Yeah, you don't recognize the race, um, and I think maybe there's no. Like maybe like there's record of the ship docking, and like maybe who was assigned to um, check it out or like do some sort of diagnostic or whatever, and maybe like the like there's um, like a record of whatever the intelligence was that was contacting the station, uh, like when it docked uh, to get like clearance or whatever. Um, but after that, there's like nothing. There's no records or whatever. Okay, so. Um, it appears that perhaps the station was infiltrated by an unknown species of some sort that may have affected the crew here. Um, you mean like those nanobot things from earlier? I am not sure if they have a connection, but it may be likely. I don't like the sound of that. That's not you hot. Mean... We may be in very grave danger. Mm, I know I'm dangerous, but really. 
Cobra, was that a Danger Will Robinson? <laughs> <laughs> danger Cad Nebulon, danger. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> I apologize, that is all the information I could find off of the computer. Do you need me to proceed? Well, can you shut down the clamps that are keeping us trapped? We unfortunately would need to make our way down to the core, where I believe we can access... And I may be able to access the AI. Mm, shit. We're all Captain? gonna die. All Captain, right. would you like to proceed? Um... Yep. <laughs> I put the team on my back. I will... As soon as everyone's ready, I will open the door. I don't like how that looks. Hang on one second, let me take my medicine. Uh, yep. Do what you need. Pray to whatever god you must. Uh, if I inject somebody with a needle of glowing liquid, what? will that give them a power up? Do you know what that does? We have we never yeah. determined what you it keep does. Talking about she we she even described it, you know what like, it does? in the whole lead up to playing and never once mentioned what it actually does. No, I never did. It could I be like glow stick figuring. fluid for all we know. I know. Which is toxic. <laughs> which is extremely toxic. You're gonna it make us glow as you're running on the I don't know what it does, but it glows. But it glows, so you know, party. Um, I also I don't know. I forgot to mention Clone that I, the device I wanted to use was like a short range teleporter, so I could teleport to places I see. But I didn't know if that was like 100% approved. Um, yeah, that's cool. Okay, dope. So that's my device. <laughs> All right, so you, you guys devices. open. You guys open <laughs> the doors. Uh, what is your next move? Uh, you don't see. You can see. I think. Um, down this way. Oh, actually, I don't think you can see. There's maybe you see the flashing of like. Um, remember when the uh, the administrator had like sensor things in its eyes or whatever? I think you see um, like short range scan bursts coming out of this group. But other than that, there's not. You, the, the hall isn't lit. Mm -hmm. um, so you open the door like slowly, and um, these things are kind of like pseudo scanning. Uh, around that area and then like kind of banging the walls um, but you might I think you're probably like out of range of any of that scans so do we need to all to sneak through this so we don't get noticed or are we good to proceed um, in a relatively think, careful manner I think it I think it's risky so um, I think you guys are so you're going directly beeline from the door to the um, the entranceway this is I think there's no door here I think Wow, really? Hallway. It wouldn't allow piranhas. That's weird. <laughs> In the chat, sorry, there was just some random, like, hey, this person's chat message isn't allowed. And it, like, highlighted piranhas. I was like, uh, oh, is that, um, is that a thing? Is that a, is that a term the kids are saying nowadays? Is that some sort of slur? Piranhas. What a bunch of piranhas. Says nah. Whoa, Jimmy, you can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, fam. Mm. Uh, bunch of motherfucking piranhas over here. Okay, um, so the door <laughs> opens up. these motherfucking piranhas on my motherfucking space station. Um, <laughs> Alright, so you guys are uh, kind of creeping out, and um, so I think this is kind of uh, one of you can thank someone in chat for this, but uh, I think as you enter the hallway and you're about halfway across so you're about 25 feet kind of sneaking your way here down here um you just see like um remember like the the scanning beams again sorry um you see something like kind of down the hallway um and it's uh it's just like uh like a mass of heads and then just like arms just kind of like coming out in like a fluid kind of thing and there's maybe some legs maybe somewhere in the back there um and then like also just kind of just legs kind of sticking out and there's just like a mass of 
tendrils and uh, like wires and cables and just like you can see the occasional like torso but then it's just like that orange just kind of like scanning beam kind of like Ooh. coming out scanning all <gasps> if I over. I take a picture of it. Um, it it, that well, so it kinda, many likes. Yeah, so it it like pops out of the section where the the shark ship is and it's just here and the beams hit where you are uh and oh. it's hauling ass now towards you guys. So give oh. me I shoot. I have a quick question before you shoot. Yes. <laughs> Does Dr. Amber uploading any of this to space Twitter get to anybody? <laughs> yeah, I was going to get to. Did I send out trending. a distress signal right now? Yeah, like, it's it's trending. <laughs> <laughs> I think, okay, so I think there's like... $30 uh, million, dollars. let's go. <laughs> I think there's there's two level there's three levels of Twitter upload. There's didn't work. There's um, uh, worked worked, but uh, will upload as soon as you get to net connection and then oh. net connected. And she's okay. all of her posts are on this kind of floaty loading symbol thing. Oh, how exciting! <laughs> And which is, all which my is followers fine. must think I'm dead. <laughs> you should oh complain God, to your service provider. Oh my I God, am. Dr. Fuck Amber. Fido. <laughs> is that a Canadian thing? Yes. Can I tell it? <laughs> yeah, it's Canadian Dude, I want to draw the big version of this. I gotta take a screenshot. Right that is. A selfie? Oh. <laughs> but wait, let me take a selfie. Yeah. I mean, it's tentacle arms, it could definitely take a selfie. QB's like shooting at it, and Amber's like, oh my it god. It has tentacle <laughs> arms! It can take me from every angle! Oh, if you were. Oh, Alright, so, um, yeah, what's everyone uh, doing? Well, uh, well, let's see. Oh, ass! Because yeah, QB I... hit it, though. That's. My question. Yeah, did QB hit it? Um, give me visceral mess, QB. Everyone else, give me stress. Oh no. Um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna work this into like a group roll. So give me, tell me, um, uh, Tom, first, what'd you get? Five. Five. Okay. Um. Holy shit. <laughs> um, and then um, uh, Cad, what'd you got? A uh, two. This, are you you're stressing right? You're running. Yeah. Okay. Well, I was gonna say, Clone, um, that uh, for some reason I do not feel fear, so I also wanted to take a shot at it. Oh, for okay. The survival yeah. of the group. Okay, go ahead. Uh, what was your number? Um, do I was am I then rolling for visceral mess in that case? Uh, yeah. Okay, so I got a one. One. Okay. Um, that is. And then what was um, uh, Angel and sorry, um, what was Doctor Amber and uh, Cephas's roles? Six. Six. I got a four. Four. Okay. So we've got two out of three successes for um, for stress. Um, uh, Phoenix, you can go ahead and mark yourself. Give yourself a stress point. Um, okay. I think the first one of the game. So I think this is the first stress roll yeah. roll we've missed. Um, and then we've got um, we've got kind of like a, well, we've got a, we've got we've got <laughs> mixed success. We've got we've got two yeah. people firing and we've got one one success. Um, so uh, QB, you successfully managed to hit the thing with the upgraded disintegration beam. I'm going to say, uh, tell me what happens, uh, but it isn't dead. So tell me what happens. It's not dead. Um, how much of it is destroyed? Um, I'll give you like a third of it. Ooh. So I think like you, you're just like... Generous. And like you just like, whoosh, like the, the beam shoots down the hallway... Uh, what color is the beam, just for fanciness? Oh yeah, you guys have like super powered beams. My beam is green. Green. Back to back action shot. 
same time. Yeah, yeah that's it's it. a green shot that slowly eradicates one head and a couple arms. Okay. Right. So, um, yeah, it just like and like a whole section of maybe what was once part of a person is just gone from this thing. Um, ow. Um, it burns. So as that happens, and I think like um, uh, Ellie is there, and you guys are kind of like like in tandem, kind of firing. Um, maybe just one shot each, because you know these are the 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 upgraded. Oh wait, no. Uh, uh, Ellie's is an upgrade, though, though, right? I did. Yeah, no, oh, I you did. You did. Okay. It's yeah. just Amber who doesn't. Right. I'm the only one who didn't, because I believe in animal rights. Okay. <laughs> right. Um. Actually, you guys, give me, um, give me a D D three roll. Um, uh, Cobra, if you don't have digital dice uh, on that, you roll a D six, a six sided dice. Uh, one or two is one. Uh, three or four is two, and five or six counts as a three. Okay, so I have a six sided. So roll. I had I had a four. So could you explain one more time what that? Okay. What, so when you roll uh, what's called a D three or a three sided dice, which doesn't exist, uh -huh. um, you roll a six sided dice, and a roll of a one or a two counts as a one, a roll of a three or four counts as a two, and a roll of a five or a six counts as a three. And you rolled a four. Yes. Okay. So I think that uh, took half your energy. So you got one shot left on your gun. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> how about you, uh, QB? What'd you get? Am I rolling again? Uh, just a d3 to see how many shots you got left on your uh, your roll. Uh, I won't say the... You got the, a, five. a five, so that okay, would so be you, a three. Okay, so you got two more shots left on yours. Um, so you've killed the thing, um, and I think everyone else has made their way into the tunnel as they're running. Um, so we've got uh, uh, QB and... Um, Ellie here uh, that are kind of like midway in the hallway uh, so I think the beast over here was hit but is now like continuing to make its way maybe a third less as fast um, but the Ooh. brightness of that beam has alerted the rest of these guys over here and they're now also oh. headed in that direction oh boy can I get into the door before they get to us yeah same question <laughs> yeah so I think you guys can um, in the time okay. that these things get here, you'll be able to get over here. Um, so the way I would advise us to run. <laughs> uh, the way the yeah. elevator works here is there's just a central elevator, um, and like, um, yeah, there's just a central elevator in like a kind of room over here. This room kind of doesn't have much function. So there's like maybe some snack vending machine kind of things. <laughs> Um, like replicator equivalents. Um, I think there's actually like an old style, like like lo-fi style, just snack machine full of like Nutri bars and like like pre-made foods um, that probably have like an exorbitant shelf life. Um, Do I have a debit card? <laughs> uh, Can I, I mean... hack the machine to get <laughs> <laughs> for for all of us, of course. This is your own fault, DM. <laughs> Alright, so um, so you guys are all... Yeah, I think you make it down the tunnel and you're over here. Um, as you get in, um, I'm assuming someone's calling the elevator. I don't want to speak for m the party, but... How big is that vending machine? <laughs> um, I think uh -oh. you could stack uh, the vending machine and two of the other kind of... Um, replicator things enough to block maybe two thirds exactly. of the um, the hallway. Exactly where I was going with that. Let's do that nice. while we wait for the elevator. Okay, so I think um, it would take everyone doing that all at the same time. Um, would someone like to give me a stress roll with three dice? I will do it. Okay. Go. Oh, you want oh. you want the captain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got two, four, and a one. Two, four, and a one. So that's one success, right? I believe so, yes. Okay. So I think um, you literally um, are scrambling and just like grabbing all the things. That, uh, I think 
no one kind of really notices, but like I think maybe Ellie goes to the back machine over here, just like maybe like one hands the whole thing and just <laughs> sends it down. <laughs> it's like, oh wow, Try. these are so heavy. I, oh, oh my! Uh, I used to lift weights back in university. <laughs> There's something off about that lady. Back in back in human college. <laughs> All right, uh, so these, whoa, that's way too big. Um, so these are all moved. Uh, you guys have blocked uh, the way, but like literally as it, uh, uh, you get there, the, I think, I don't think the beast can really make its way into the hallway. It's literally like that bulky, um, but you've got about maybe, I'm going to say like seven or eight of the smaller dudes sh that are just kind of like clambering and they're like the same kind of situation like maybe once people but like um heads or just maybe even like weird cross sections of torsos are just kind of like off and kind of like lopsided hanging off um again eyes missing scanners in the eyes uh, and they're all just like you see the scan beams just kind of filling around and, and then not really making any like sounds or anything they're just kind of like make all you can kind of hear is like the flopping and but maybe the scanners make sounds. Maybe there's just like that, like, what was that called in like, uh, I think, did they have like a scanner in like Aliens where they're scanning something? And it was just kind of like, or whatever like that. So they can hear like multiple versions of that sound kind of like overlaid uh, as they're kind of just like scanning here and there. Um, Scared. But yeah, they're like there, like, and kind of starting to clamber over and trying to make their way through the space that is available at the top. Um, and I think you're seeing the elevator come up, uh, and it is coming up all the way from the bottom from the computer core area. <laughs> of course. <laughs> oh. Naturally. Shooting. <laughs> Shooting. Terrifying. Is there any music the while we're waiting? <clears throat> is there any what? Any music while we wait? <sighs> um, not outside of the elevator, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid um, I only have limited shots, my fellows. I had offered a DJ, but there's no equipment here. <laughs> well, you don't, you don't like, uh, what's that called? You don't chip tune it, like, like, like a Game Boy kind of handheld style. Oh yeah, yeah. Sounds out of your your <laughs> universal device. Perfect. There we go. I got you guys. I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, I'm setting the mood. <laughs> I'm getting I'm attacked setting here. The mood. <laughs> this right, we need some Darude Sandstorm for this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So, <laughs> you said you said that. Like, um, like, now I can just picture her like literally pressing the buttons for like, like, like just. Yeah. <laughs> Or, or have you ever seen that thing where they have a specific sort of sound wave that plays on your phone? If you put the speaker up to your mouth, it suddenly plays the song because it's like bouncing oh, the sound. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, super yeah. freaky. I love it. <laughs> That's kind of funny. All right. Um, so I think you're going to have to, unless you don't, unless you, or to get the creatures from not piling in, you're going to have to have one or two people take some shots. I'm not going to have you roll for it. I think... Um, let's say while you're waiting for the elevator um, you have to expend at least three shots worth so anyone with a supercharged one um, if uh, CAD or um, Cephas are going to shoot uh, their uh, energy weapons uh, go ahead and give me a d3 roll and then um, that'll be how many shots you have left in um, your guns as well. Could I possibly save on ammunition and try to hack the elevator to go faster? Uh, yeah. Give me a visceral mess roll. Let's see. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> what happens? Give me, uh, <laughs> give me, give me two dice with that. Okay, so sorry. This thing is a little slow. So two dice. You're good. Does, okay, so does an engineer only... help her? Oh. Um, well, yeah, if you're not standing yeah. and helping shoot, then yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, I think was uh, where Cad and uh, Cephas So we were pretty shooting. much together, if that helps, like because we were shooting before. So we're pretty in close proximity to one another. Yeah, so you guys are, you're, let me change up the color again. You guys are probably, um, so you've got, you're probably here, you've got two here and maybe DJ Amber in the middle. 
<laughs> I'm um, DJing the both of them. Is there is there anything that's like above the door um, that, in theory, could be like shot at to drop into that spot? If that makes any sense. Um. You tell me. Describe describe something that you could you could uh, shoot down on them. Mm. Oh, that's a good question. I didn't mm. understand at first. Cartoon anvil on a rope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, this is weird, but I won't question it. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. So maybe like. I'm trying to think of on like a spaceship. Maybe like a might be like maybe like a door. maybe like a like a display or something, or like a Could. heat exchange device, or like a slightly larger mechanical panel or something like that. If yeah, just... maybe. Oh, sorry, go ahead. I was just gonna say maybe like a. Um... Yeah, I was thinking a display or maybe like a scaffold that's kind of like going up yeah, okay. sort of above the door, like maybe a service catwalk or something like that. You know what I mean? Ooh, like I along like those it. lines. I like Ooh, it. Ooh, fancy. Um, give me a... Give me a okay, so again, it, you guys have to expend three shots worth of... St oh, actually, I mean, if you're going to do this, you can go ahead and do this. Um, give me a visceral mess. I do have my three die rolls. Or... Still necessary. Oh, for nice. uh, that's your that's not your number though, right? Uh, no, it is not. <clears throat> okay, so uh, Cobra, give me your three dice real quick. Uh, one, one, and a five. So I did get one of my numbers, so that's nice. Okay, so um, let's do let's resolve that first. So you basically um, let's say you triple the speed of the elevator, so it's gonna be here like literally in like five or six seconds um and then go ahead and ask, ask me the question real quick uh let's see um oh gosh uh hmm uh are there any other obstacles between us and the core at this point um other than getting down there there might be like uh physical like barriers and stuff um, but no. Uh, cool. not that you know of other than that. Okay. Pew! Elevator's coming, guys. <laughs> <laughs> the elevator um, is on its way. Speedily. Okay, so I think, uh, in that instance, too, we've got Cad Nebulon over here, um, uh, and he's like, oh, I see that scaffolding. I'm gonna drop it to, uh, fill the gap. And... So he fires his weapon. Oh, give me a D3 roll real quick, just to um, see how many shots you got left on your laser pistol. Your laser pistol. Uh, uh I rolled a six on that one. Okay, so you got two shots oh. left. Okay. So you fire, and um, I would like to point out that this is a bridge in between the Taurus and the main section. So this is all space. Oh, okay. Oh, so boy. you go to aim for the scaffolding, and you hit it, but you vaporize straight through it, and you pop a hole in the tunnel into space. Oh, oh dear. Dear. So Oh dear. Um, we have spacesuits though, right? Uh, oh dear. We do. In effect, yeah. So um I think let's say Cad and Cephas, give me give me some stress rolls real quick, please. <laughs> And I think as you're doing that, the the creatures are starting to get like kind of sucked out into space. Ooh, so I nice. mean that's good. Uh, that's that's also, so <laughs> also, there's a giant hole. <laughs> I'm say, I plan I'm, that, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna say uh, like six half for of me them. on the. Um, on the as well. I had just thrown my shoes. I would have made a hole into space, okay? <laughs> so I think. Sure. But then you would have lost. Those heels are pointy enough. You could have put yeah. They're good heels. They're I pumped. Think. I think six of them. Sad. Louis Vuitton. <laughs> Does Louis Vuitton still exist? I don't know. Louis Vuitton's um, grandkids. They survive. 
they, it's like, the, they four, it's like the Louis Vuitton the 45th, but <laughs> Louis Vuitton sure. like the 50th. I don't know. They're red on the bottom and they rock. They uh, did they survive the garment wars of 2077? Um, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you got the big hole in here. So many wars. <laughs> so many wars. I mean, that's what happens, right? We got that precedent from uh, Demolition Man. So it's only Taco yeah. Bell. It's only Twitter. Um, it's oh, only that Louis Vuitton. <laughs> I'm okay with that. I just had Taco Bell today. French wrap supreme mm -hmm. baby. Sorry. Oh, right? <laughs> I don't know. I just saw the recent um, trailer for Gucci with uh, Lady Gaga and Adam Driver. So I'm I'm team Gucci. Oh, okay. Ooh. Ooh. I'm Gucci. I'm not I'm not Team Gucci because of their questionable racial inclination stuff that came out a while ago. But that's just oh, me. All right, so that. we've um, basically the air starts getting sucked out of this kind of region where you guys are. Like you, you feel that stereotypical uh, void pull, the pull of the void. Um, and I think at that moment, both um, Cad and Cephas are like. Whoop! And they like hit the buttons on the the side of their spacesuits that like deploy their Whoop. like kind of space helmet things real like quick. Buzz Lightyear. Um, yeah. And maybe activate their um, magnetic boots. Um, and I think everyone else here that's like a little bit further away from that are able to do so as well. Um, you see that the rest of those creatures though uh, have magnetic. Um, uh, things as well that activate so they start moving through and the nice thing now is uh those vending machines are just gone because they got sucked out through the uh, uh the hole that was blasted in the uh, the top of the ceiling uh i think damn it they went to jesus <laughs> yeah <laughs> um, what the heck? so the elevator arrives now um which opens up to um something akin to the beast uh, but it's just like kind of uh it's like um uh, like a funny Muppet character that's like Siamese twins, except <laughs> maybe not as funny. Um, hello, Ash. How are you doing? <laughs> that's the beast. There you go. Do that yawn, Ash. That's the beast. Oh, I love when Ash shows up. It's great. <laughs> so vocal. Ah, ah what are you, who are these people? Who are they? What the hell is that? Um, Salad Fingers 2.0. <laughs> Salad Fingers 2 Electric Boogaloo. Yeah, right. <laughs> Can I shoot that? Oh, oh they also have laser, whatever, Absol scanner things. Yeah. Absolutely. Ooh, he's like stitched together. Ooh. Uh -huh. I'm, yeah, I'm just trying to draw like the, where like the body maybe like fused together and then there's like the like. Kind of like wires and stuff interconnecting. I don't know about you guys, but that doesn't look right. <laughs> like that's the worst stitch job I've ever seen. <laughs> the worst stitch job I've ever seen. It's not even a proper like cross section. <laughs> yeah, right? It's like you put you could have at least fused their spines together. I mean, come on. <laughs> they could have they just put, like a little gap in the middle. <laughs> Um, use natural sutures, not just butcher's twine. Yeah, I oh think it's, the red kind of squiggly is just like flesh kind of melded together. So it's Ooh. yeah, it's, it's not even a good color of red. All right, so we had QB say that he wanted to shoot it, right? Right. All right, give me give me visceral mess, sir. This whole time, by the way, I hadn't put my helmet up because Bye. I didn't think about it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like that. Um, okay, uh, I think maybe same sort of situation, and you aim to shoot, and it blasts past it, and you puncture a hole oh. in like the elevator. Break it in the holes. Um, <laughs> and through uh -oh. to the other side of the shaft, um, and the thing comes out, and I think it. Um, maybe malls um, you and Ellie since you're the closest targets so um, it kind of like goes in and does like a combination of like tries to bite you and like 
bludgeon you with its randomly flailing limbs and um, you can kind of feel that same sensation you had when you um, got that uh, nanite injection and stuff like that. Oh, oh no. So, okay, do I... Boogaloo! <laughs> <laughs> so, does that mean, uh, is it stabbing at me or just like... I think it's tackling like... Tackling me at this point? Like, what is it to move? What is it? Show me your moves! You know? Show me your moves! I think it's literally like, like like in its mouth or it's maybe its teeth are like maybe metallic now so it's like trying mm -hmm. to chomp a little bit um but it's also like think of like um six limbs just kind of like do you, uh, did anyone see the the magic episode of rick and morty where the wizard casts oh. multiple leg and he's just beating like kicking him with like 18 <laughs> magic legs yeah. at the same it's like that it's just like <laughs> just like flailing oh, limbs at you and just like knocking like bludgeoning you, like hitting you a bunch. Joji, okay. I'm almost 50. Do you think I watch Rick and Morty? I mean, it takes <laughs> all kinds, Morty's man. Good. <laughs> so, Basi um, basically, because... it's bludgeoning you with a lot of limbs, I'll say. Okay. So because I um the way I am, which nobody even knows, even the though my helmet's not on right now, <laughs> um, I don't react to the bludgeoning, uh, except maybe like an, oh no, and can I, because its mouth is open, stick my gun in its mouth <laughs> yeah um, and fire and what would that take since i'm in such close proximity um i'll give you i'll give you that as like a prepared so roll two dice okay Maybe. since you since you specified roll two dice. i love how like everyone's like probably like Loki freaking out that there's like multiple holes in the station. <laughs> and Ellie's just like, let's dance. Not like, got her helmet on. Not even the gun into its straight mouth face. <laughs> um, I have a four and a three, so not four a five, a but two successes. I believe. Uh, is that visceral stress, right? Uh, tell me how you it's end normal. this thing's existence. So I stick it very calmly, just getting kind of bludgeoned around here stick it in its mouth and fire it, and because I have a database of extra net information, I must say, yippee kaye motherfucker, and <laughs> shoot its head off. Oh, that's a good thing. Or at least blast one of its heads off. Um, can I video her doing that? <laughs> can, can she, though? <laughs> that can would be I, funny as a game. Can I, can can I, I make... Because I'm a... A helpful, it's a helpful android voice, so you kaye, motherfucker. Can I make a maybe <laughs> very obscure uh, reference on top of a reference? Oh boy. I want to say this is an old enough uh, EarthNet video, uh, or like Earth video, Terran video that maybe like through the ages there might have been like copies of copies made, or like you got a, like the original, oh, like, sure. oh, this is the original movie. Um, uh, I think you might have gotten like a made for TV only version, so <laughs> it doesn't end up being like you're like you're like accessing cool one liners and you put the gun in its mouth and you're like hippie by day, Ricky Martin, and you, <laughs> and, you and you fire you fire yeah. the thing and everyone's like, whoa, that was badass, and they're like, they're, maybe they're like, oh, that that was an odd. That's a very yeah. odd. Oh, no, line. actually, you know what? Maybe like that's the quote that everyone knows too. They're like, "Yeah, like in that movie." <laughs> y years of being lost in translation. Yeah, exactly. Yes. <laughs> I agree. Yes, this is what exactly. I say. <laughs> All right, so you basically like I think like you put it, the gun in a way that it doesn't like beam through, and I think maybe like you like you put it oh, against. Oh, I, I was a, gonna say, is it possible to? I guess since there are two heads, would I be able to shoot through two, or is that asking too much? No, you totally, you totally do it. So you cannot, yeah, just that's what happens. You, you, you tell me what happens, and that's what happens. You got two okay. successes. This, you're oh, living sweet. in a double success world. Oh, here. nice. So yeah, I, I point it like yeah. this to get both domes. Hopefully, not shooting another hole through the ship. No, I think Please what don't. happens is like you put it against like something that you can see is metallic in its mouth. So I think like it just penetrates the one head and then like passes through and like maybe chromes the dome of the other one, uh, but it doesn't go through that second head. Okay. 
So you guys are like, yo! And I think, uh, yeah, I, I don't want to so speak for, um, I don't want to speak for QB, but he's probably very happy to not be, be bludgeoned anymore. <laughs> yeah, probably. QB, are you alright? Oh yeah, let's get oh. the hell out of here. Are we, has the thing just gone, like, limp and fallen on top of us and we're just laying there, like... <laughs> just like... Just like best bros with the whole just best sucking bros, it's vacuum like, out of the city. He's like, Are yeah, you let's okay? get out of here. And you're like, hey, hey, dude, you good? <laughs> I'm you fine. Good, bro? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that thing is like absolutely destroyed. And you got the slow crawling or slow stepping magnetic boot dudes uh, approaching. Um, so the elevator is here. There's a hole in it. But it doesn't seem like it'll impede the function of it. Um, and this tube doesn't go to space this is a, in the inner column itself so you have no issues there um, but I think the station um, security measures uh, drop doors here whoops uh, drop doors here and here and you can see them kind of shut down um, so I think there's maybe two of those things make it in before the door clamps down um, to stop any sort of vacuum here uh, but you guys make it on the elevator and are headed down uh, into uh, the bottom section. Mm. Good. All right. Um, I got one shot left. Who else? Who, how many shots does everybody else have? I, have I still have shot. the full mag. I have I'm full, but I have not that powerful a gun. That's fine. You might need to actually regular stun something. You never know. Mm -hmm. Sure. Oh my god, we can only hack this computer by stunning it. Whoa. I've, I've already what? upgraded my gun! <laughs> well, it's a good thing that I didn't, so haha. <laughs> um, uh, Alright, so uh, let's see here. We go down to the bottom floor. Let me map it out here real quick. Um, you guys come out of the elevator... Um, I want to say, you know what? This is a cool space elevator. So I think the whole platform just kind of like closes up to like one section, which like pops out doors the whole way and it like closes or whatever. Hmm. So like if you were if you were kind of on the platform, there'd be like a pillar here, and then the doors would just kind of like swing out and, and kind of enclose the whole platform and just kind of like swing back to. To open up, so you're on like a full, fully open platform, um, and I think the whole outer wall section here. Whoops! Wow, that is a horrendous circle. I'm an Ertist, Erkin Ert. Come um, on, Ertist, let's yeah. go. Let's go. Sit down, man. You can art just like me. I believe in you. I'm hungry. Are hard. Hey, machines. <laughs> um. So we have um just like banks and banks of just um, uh, just cables and wires and circuitry um, and there as far as you can tell there's no um, there doesn't seem to be any like creatures or anything walking around um, there is whoops gotta change that brush up I can do it. I can do it nine times. On standard brush, let's standard go. Standard brush, let's go. Don't be watercolored now. It, it's a trap. Um, there is a kind of like gate section here um, that kind of opens up to like this whole section is just like, I guess, what's that called? Um, see-through steel or what do they call that like um transparent transparent aluminum or whatever they call that like futuristic material um so it's like a see-through panel and there's like an opening section here where you'd be able to get in and there's kind of like um not ducts but like very kind of thin walkways to kind of like traverse through like the core area here and they're just kind of like you can see like open areas in and amongst this whole thing um i think there's maybe like small machines in there that are just maybe performing like just low-key maintenance or whatever um and then there is uh cameras dotting the ceiling kind of all around uh here so here you are you've arrived in the computer core you've solved my computer mm -hmm. problem well, not yet but... 
Mm-hmm. I believe I should be able to control the AI here so we can undock. Is that right? Yeah. Do you need assistance? I be sure to get all the assistance I can get with hacking with Cosmo. I'm assisting. Um, and then you hear uh, 5KU77 pop up. Uh, Uh-oh. Oh, no. Query, why are you in the computer core area? Hello, no 5... reason. Oh, hello, 5KU77. How are you? Please answer, Query. Or I will be... <laughs> or I will be forced to activate security measures. I don't think it has any emotions. Just make something up. <laughs> hey, you seven seven. Can you check how many followers I have now on Twitter, please? <laughs> <laughs> I need to know if I hit my my new milestone. I have to celebrate. Uh, well, I think like it just right. automatically does that for some whatever reason. It's just like <laughs> uh, during last net connection, uh, user Doctor Am. And I think there's like 10 R's on there, and it like reads them out computer style. R, 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 uh, I, I, I think our only choice is to accomplish our goal before 5KU77 can call security. Um, I think, I mean, I think it probably hears that. Um, uh it says, um, I also, I, I'm also not good with conversation. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, actually, you Just know, do it! Quick question, oh. quick question. You guys are all wearing your, like, space helmets, right? Cause you guys right. are in my... I'm not. <laughs> oh, you're not, right. Do right. it. I never put it on. <laughs> All right, so I think what would have been maybe like an intercom situation where you might have been telling them that, I think like you're talking and everyone's like, wait, what? And the weird thing too, is I, I don't think anyone noticed oh. like you guys have like intersuit comms on, but uh, Ellie, Ellie is just talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> without a helmet on. Oh, and I noticed that I... nobody's hearing me, so I'm like, oh. No, 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 what? they can hear you. Like, you're literally oh. transmitting to them, like, into their suits. Like, but you're oh, talking normally, oh. but, like, nobody noticed it at first, and they're like, oh, wait a minute, what? <laughs> uh, um, but I think, I think, uh, yeah. That's problem first, at least second. I think 5 U 77s like, um, uh, 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 threat, you know, um, Nintendo threat detected. Uh, threat, yeah. <laughs> Act, uh, uh, what is it? Like? Activate, yeah. Activating security measures. By uh, KU77, we mean no threat to you. Um, it's. I think it might be too late for that. So I think the. Uh -oh. Um, if there was air in this area, it's being drawn out. Um, but you guys oh. are all in your spacesuits, so that's fine. Um, and I think uh, the gravity panels all turn off. Oh, I'm floating! Um, so you guys are all floating, um, unless you've activated... Actually, you know what? You're not floating, but you but you do have to use your, your magnetic boot things. I mean, I could be floating. You could be floating if you wanted to. I could be. Uh, and if I'm floating, that means um. You could be defying gravity. I could be. <laughs> if you're floating, um, that means you're jumping. Exactly. Um, you hear a loud clack in the door section that opened up into the, the, the pathways here and then um, you see I think maybe here, here and here um, you see ceiling panels open up and some turret things come down oh. <laughs> and, and start aiming so if anyone would like to take a shot at them feel free I will to do so. I still have blast ammo. away um, so we've got one, two, um, anyone else shooting? Uh, so anyway, I can't start shoot, but um, I, I would like to attempt to find the console where I can hack. Okay. Can I try to deplate this system? I yeah. think um, you have to get through this door first. There's no access panels no, in God! the area. Uh, no, God, please, oh, okay, so no, no, no. 
<laughs> no! Oh, well, Can I Michael, use Michael my the donut hole? You have to go into the donut hole. Yeah. So you guys are here. Let me, let me. Oh no. So you guys are like. Oh, hold on. It keeps kicking me in the dark version of these. Right, so we got. That was a sick fun this one. Was uh, <laughs> opacity is opacity is none, so that wouldn't work. So you guys are kind of like stacked here. Uh, you got the locked door now uh, into the computer section at large, and then you've got turret here, turret here, and turret here. And I want to say, <laughs> I want to say the um, uh, the door hasn't gone away or put, gone uh, from the lift, so that whole area is open except for the back section here which is kind of like the pillar where the uh the door for the elevator pops up and great so that's All that's right, the I... situation so i will shoot uh do you need to roll for that uh yeah anyone that's shooting uh give me uh this little mess um i believe um qb got a six correct correct but that's his last shot so okay I got, I got a two. A two? A three. A three? Okay. Ooh. Um, is, oh, then, uh, so during this is, Elliot, are you trying for the door? Like, you're trying to unlock the door or figure out the door or something? Yes, that's what I'm doing at this point, since okay. I don't have any ammo left. Uh, just figure out what you want to do deets-wise on that, and then we've got, uh, Cad, what are you up to doing this? Are you um, are you helping Ellie? Are you firing at the turret? Yeah, I think, you... I think I'll help Ellie with this. Okay. So let's see if I can give her an extra pair of hands. All right, so we've got, um, I think we've got two out of three successes. So I want to say maybe out of the three people who were shooting, um, it was three people, right? Yeah, out of the three people who were shooting, Give me one person to take a shot from oh. one of the turrets, or multiple shots from the turrets, um, before they go down, but you guys take out all three turrets. Mm. Like to get hit by a turret? Yes. So decide amongst the three of you who's going to take the shot. I'll do it. <laughs> you sure? I can no, oh, no, 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 sorry. I mean, like, you're literally pick out of the three of you who were firing at the turrets to mm -hmm. be shot by the turrets. One of you gets shot by the turrets. Yeah. No, I think Tom oh. is saying pick me. I've I've rolled very low, or I've I've rolled really badly. <laughs> oh. they, they need you more than me. You're an engineer. Uh, I could take the shots. I mean, you're. They the need doctor. you more than me. You're a doctor. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm not a very a... good doctor. Two weeks. Two weeks from the... retirement. I <laughs> honestly love the image of Amber just very chill suturing herself though and yeah, just exactly, like right? digging out bullets just like oh my god. Well, <laughs> but I mean, like, oh my god, I got it. Yeah. To be fair, Cephas did her. just say he'll take the shot. So I think I think Cephas is like um uh McBain style when his partner gets shot in the diner, like He's, he's like he's going to take the shots and he like maybe takes out a turret but then he's like oh, ah, uh, 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 and he like takes a bunch of shots. Well, so he's definitely he's definitely injured. Yep. That that is my call and my duty. All right, so Cad, while this uh, Cad and Ellie, while this is this firefight of epic proportions in this tiny area is going on, how, what are you doing with that door? Uh, so I unfortunately have to ultimately reveal myself as an android and show my mechanical hand while I try to work on this panel by the door. Oh, so there's again, there's oh. no panel in oh. like on the door itself. The door is just like a like a locked door. Uh, so what does it look no... like exactly? So um, like, just like I think it looks. Um... Maybe yeah, I'll use this. Um... It's really bad I haven't revealed myself. <laughs> I think there is. A... I mean, if you reveal yourself, regardless, you'll still be Amber's best friend. So. <laughs> most, most excellent. She will invite you to the pool parties. <laughs> uh, I think it's just. I'm the guy. I think it's just uh, reinforced, um, looking like plasteel um, plates. Um, that are kind of laid over what was like clear 
um, that that transparent aluminum, and I think like when the security measures happen, extra plates of metal kind of slid from the ceiling into that door, and you heard the the, the mechanism of the door just kind of like lock. Oh, okay. Hmm. Is there? Can I scan it for any leak? Um. Maybe scan for something I might be able to hack. Yeah, give me a scan, and I think uh, what you figure out is there's you could probably like maybe destroy or fuck up the mechanism um, that has the actual like locking section in the front. Um, which um, is, oh, sorry, go ahead. I didn't uh, know. But then you'd have to like probably push the door open. So, given that I had the strength to lift a vending machine on my this own, is, this is canon. This is this is canon. Yeah. <laughs> now uh, being realized. Um, oh, I thought she was just hungry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. When you're I'm hungry, hungry, here, have a Mars bar. <laughs> uh, can I attempt to punch through the device and then Cat and I can open the door together? Oh wait, oh, wait, you wait! You just said you just said a Canadianism, by the way. You, you still have a Mars bar. It's a Snickers in the U.S. Yes, I did. <gasps> Side note: I'm Mars bars so... are better than Snickers because it's different chocolate. Ooh. Oh no! It's slightly different wrong. chocolate. Also, best uh, best uh, candy chocolate bar ever: Coffee Crisp, and you cannot argue that. Coffee Crisp. I've There's no argument. Have you never had a Coffee Crisp? Oh, uh -oh. Have you guys ever been to Purdy's? Those of you that are Canadian here. I have no. So what's, what's going on with this lock here? Uh, I was gonna just punch it. Cause Are you literally yeah, just gonna punch it? it. Alright. Um, I'm gonna try to punch it. Well, well I have a... I, I, say, I have a shot left in my phaser here, so I that could... That is true. Try I mean, to you could, you could put phaser, it right in the middle. You could phaser punch. Oh, there you go. You could, you oh, could I still combo, need to combo attack punch. it. Phaser <laughs> punch! <laughs> phaser <laughs> punch! I have... Uh, Cad, you're just gonna have... You're going to have to trust me. Please aim your phaser at my fist. <laughs> <laughs> That's alright, lady. I know there's been something weird going on with you since we got off the plane. Just, just this. <laughs> this comes as no surprise. <laughs> like the hand melts away Terminator style. What's your, oh, what's, oh what's, your, what's your hair situation? Oh, cool. My hair situation? It is of just a very unassuming brown. Maybe my just regular length. <laughs> I have red hair. <laughs> I have like the, the most red color. Like, I I then. No, it just got worse. It's not even ginger. It's just straight up flaming red. <laughs> I have surmised that neither myself or your phaser will be able to punch through this metal. So please, if you will, aim it at my fist. <laughs> All right, let's do this. <laughs> oh, you okay. Oh, Duncan. Oh, wait, no, you're like green. Wait, what? What? Who's... Oh, yeah, cat's green. I guess, I guess the closest thing I could think of would be like a um. Okay. I kind of uh, when you just you, you described your character, Phoenix, I definitely thought of Piccolo from DDD. Oh. Yeah, either either that or uh. Um, with gills and a New Jersey it. accent. <laughs> <laughs> New hey, Jersey. Gohan, it's me, Piccolo. <laughs> hey. Hey. Hey, Goku, why are you such a shit dad? <laughs> why am I always taking care of your son? Hey, Gohan, I'm your dad now. <laughs> true, true. All right, so... Come on in here. We're going to get taken care of. Come on. Uh, so uh, true scroll, to, true that's to what the I was picture, trying to think of. True to like the picture. Oh, like a scroll. Yeah, okay, I can yeah, see like that. A scroll, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of thing. Um, Can so, I help mend our injured teammate here? Yeah, I think nice, maybe um, maybe you, you oh. realize what that syringe is that you have. Oh, okay. And that glow stick fluid. <laughs> yeah. Let me just uh, stab this into you. Yeah, and I think like I think maybe Cephas is like you know like that dude, like just get oh. revenge, just get revenge for me. Uh, and he's like, he, he's like, he's fully committed to the fact that he's probably gonna die. And See, Amber, the like, way I thought about it was that you, you stick the syringe in, and then the person just becomes Hulk. Oh, yeah, the whole barbarian. Oh yeah, 
yeah, yeah. let's do that let's do that Enrage, so I, berserk. I, I think like maybe it starts like not to reference a show again that tom hasn't seen but that first episode of rick and morty when his legs are yeah. broken and he sticks an injection into him yes. his, like, legs, oh, yeah. his, legs, his legs unbreak the same sort of thing i think like maybe his wounds heal and he's just like oh my god oh my god amber you you saved me i'm gonna live and he's just like like super mutant style just like he's suddenly yellow <laughs> and suddenly, just, like, uh... he's just like maybe he grows like half a foot and is like hella ripped all of a sudden so, wow. all i gotta like, say is i hate millennials <laughs> Hey, I think I did this recipe eras. right. Side note, Tom, next time we hang out, we gotta watch Rick and Morty. <laughs> I, I feel like you would actually like it, to be honest. It's a really good show. Highly recommend. Um, Alright, so, yeah, we've got a hulked out uh, administrator does, here. Does it change my personality or anything at all? Uh, How long does it no, I think it would be funnier if it doesn't. I think yeah. you're more like, um, <laughs> what's his name from Fallout 4? <laughs> yeah. The, the the super mutant that's like still retains his like intelligence and just like talks like a regular person and has like yeah. a oh, broken okay. pair of glasses on his face because they're like his head is too big so he has to like wear like an offset pair Stretch of glasses or whatever yeah yeah so like maybe it splits off so you're just kind of like resting it like in a weird way on your face um but yeah some of the claws just start ripping you know yeah oh no he's hulked out <laughs> like the arms are gone the legs are definitely ripped the, the... oh yeah the lower part of the uh, the uniform is barely holding on. Oh, wait a Stand minute! Oh, wait a now minute! Crap. Wait a minute! Uh, he, yeah, his, his. Uh, I think you're gonna have to take and a breathe. long breath, or like as it's happening, you maybe like hold your breath because uh, uh -oh. you're a smart lad. And he's busted out of the suit, and you're now in an airless environment. Also, you're floating because your boots are not on your feet anymore. Oh fuck! But he's alive, oh, so no. that's good. Um, all right, alive. so. As this is happening, superheated fist, plasma, laser punch, uh, Ellie punch, like, um, basically, like, smashes the door, and her hand is so superheated, um, her, like, flesh equivalent, yeah, just kind of comes off Terminator style, so you can see, like, the, the more skeletal bone kind of thing happening. Okay. And it peels away, but the door also peels away, because it's so goddamn hot that it just, like, like smashes through uh, uh, almost like um, I'll go old school it's just a knife through butter you just basically just like you punch yeah. through it and it like fucks up the mechanism and like you use your other hand to grab like a section that's open now and like you kick your foot off and like kind of swing the door wide so you have full access now to the computer core area and there's all the sirens are going off and you got your buddy over here who's looking like he's lifted weights for every day of his life. His <laughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, yeah, he's holding his breath. <laughs> <laughs> um, is there in that room? I, um, I hope so. Dear God, I hope so. <laughs> yeah, but it's pretty sparse. Like, let's say probably like, and it's hella cold. Uh, so let's say it's like, um, I think maybe kind of spreading out so like there is air now but it's like pretty thin uh -huh. um so you'll you'll probably have like Some. the equivalent of disadvantage in this game which doesn't exist but we'll figure it out if you're trying to do anything like running or exercise or breath related or something like that all right so you're you got access to the room your injured person is no longer injured but can't really but. super breathe well uh what's the plan uh could I take a look around the room very carefully <laughs> for a possible extra suit of a large size? Um, I'm gonna say you probably don't find one. Well, shit. Yeah. Oh no. I have oh. some hopes. <laughs> oh my god, they don't even carry Gucci here. Fuck. <laughs> Did my head no, expand so large it couldn't even fit in the helmet? Um, oh my goodness. No, I think it's like maybe I'm like expanded the in there. The yeah, the head safe is still in there, but it does kind of require like a suit that's sealed off too, like because the helmet is a projection off of the suit. Yeah. So you maybe have like like that's why I allowed you to take like a, an initial just like deep breath. breath. Yeah, as it was kind of happening, because you're like, oh wait, I'm gonna bust out of the suit. 
And yeah. maybe you don't understand the whole Hulk out of the suit reference because even that, I think the Marvel movies were lost in the Second Coming of Jesus. Mm, um, good point. Uh, you know when all VHS and CDs were destroyed and DVDs and Blu-ray discs. <laughs> Uh, really just all of it yeah just all the media was just destroyed um so then we've got uh yeah i think you're i think you're with the oxygen that was in that room you're okay to breathe ish just, you again, won't you won't die like, you won't die move slowly yeah. Move yeah. slowly yeah. so is he still like floating into the air though yeah he is definitely floating I'll just be like, can oh, i it's time to leave can i tether him <laughs> Somehow oh. to my wrist. Oh. Carry him like a balloon. I mean, more like more like one of those baby leashes. <laughs> like an anti gravity baby, baby leash. leash. With the cute, the cute little teddy bear backpack. Like, hey, I mean, you know. I guess you could with something like something that you find sitting off to the side or something. Um, yeah. Tatter remains with the suit. Just make a rope out of it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Sorry. What? What are you guys up to now? Um, so, regrettably, I think I should be focusing on the hacking of the core while <laughs> Dr. Amber figures out uh, what to do with our captain. Maybe, uh, let's see, Cad, do you think your strengths would be better with me or to help our dear friend Amber, t Amber tether our captain? No, it's fine. I'm fine on my own. <laughs> we're, we're good. You guys, you guys do. We're, we're Gucci. You guys do what you gotta, gotta do. Yeah, okay. I'll look around and I'll I'll keep an eye out for any more little surprises that 5K U77 has for us. Okay. Oh, probably. Well, good, I good idea. Um, I will look around the core and try to find a console to hack. Okay. Um, I think when you go into that room, there's just all sorts of things that you could hack into. So you can literally like step into that, the whole like area here. It is uh, like your playground. Yeah, it is a playground <laughs> of hackable uh, uh, input. Inputs, hackable like, goodies. Yeah, so you can basically yes. just like step forward here and just hack, hack, hack away. You're uh, just okay, so cool. happy about it. <laughs> just a very this is your day. <laughs> it's my day. Um, uh, cool. So I will, I guess, start on uh, heading to what looks like a console screen to me. Okay. Um, do uh find similarly to what I did before and open up a panel and see what what I can find in its innards. Okay. Um and with my because one my one hand is still cooling down um I'm gonna use my other hand. Okay. Um to do uh, a quick hack of the computer, um to see if I can hack into the core and maybe take it over or at least try to influence it to uh, do uh undock us you know once we get there. Okay. <gasps> Ooh, oh, okay. No, go ahead. I was gonna say I don't. I don't know if it was obviously we we don't want to undock it while we're not on the ship. So, um, I don't know if there needs to be like a timed thing where if I hack it, it'll, it'll give us a certain time to get back to the ship. Oh, um, remember the I think what the question was asked um, in the first part in the first act. The question that was asked asked was that um, you would have to disable the station ai in general so it wouldn't Got be it. just okay. it wouldn't be just a um unlocking the mechanisms um like the, the station the uh <clears throat> diverting control of the the clamps as it were um but you'd have to disable the, the ai in general okay well then i will attempt to i guess navigate through this system and uh disable the ai entirely okay um, is there any way anyone is helping with that? Or I will there... help. Okay. Um, so I think maybe while she's directly hacking, um, you're doing some sort of like maybe background interference kind of stuff where you're just kind of like messing with its processes to where it has to like divert the oh, processing power that. toward that thing that you're doing. Um, so you're then. You're distracting it, dude. Yeah. Um, Ellie, give so me a, that, not give me a three dice. Tell you how good I am at distracting. <laughs> three dice roll. I mean, if this you roll want. mess. Ooh, okay. So I have a a four, a five, and a six. A four, a five, and a six. Okay. Ooh. So 
I mean, you got a success, you got a fail, and then you got a direct. So you get an automatic success. Um, <clears throat> let's see here. Let's give you a. Um, uh, oh, I don't know that I actually wrote in the rules that you get a success if you get a stressful mess, but you succeeded, and then you get to answer. Uh, tell me a question, and tell me what happens to the station AI as you are, as you are hacking and slashing. Uh, I would love for 5K to be talking to me the entire time and telling me to not do that. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Let me, let me <laughs> and then his voice my... kind of just like slowly once I do it successfully. And then the lights just start flashing and being crazy. Warning. Proceeding in this action will cause station systems to <laughs> shut down. W warning. Do not do that. System... <laughs> Cor 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 corrupting station St station St station station <laughs> and the computer is no yeah, no more vo no vo not vocal anymore and you see um, almost all the computer decks just kind of fall silent and uh, all the lights stop stop kind of like going out or whatever yeah, he was dramatic as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so in that case, is it just have I shut off the computer system entirely and now just like no functions are working, or just yeah. was I able to disable just the AI? Pretty much all, all functions have ceased on the station. Oh, uh oh, that includes oxygen. I would advise that we leave quickly, <clears throat> possible. <laughs> to get over to you. Get the brand <laughs> skip. <laughs> Like, those oh, ears are smoking. Guys, help. Is there any way that I can share my oxygen? Um. Hmm, that's a good <laughs> question. Um. Like, if I held my breath, took, you know, the tube thing, and then plug it into. <laughs> okay, I think this is, is, this is definitely kind of weird, but I think this you could get this to work. I think what's going to have to happen is. Um, since the suit is, you know, it's fairly high tech and like decently modular, right. I think what you'd have to do would be to um, basically like kind of piggyback on uh, Cephas's back and kind of like lean your head like <laughs> from behind kind of close and the bubble I'll would kind of do it. <laughs> double encapsulate. You have a Hippocratic Oath, Amber, you do what you have to. <laughs> I mean, Carry you put me in this... like one of my French dogs. <laughs> Those things that were running around are going to be so confused because it's going to look like one of them, but like, wait. That's, that's not quite exactly right. Double head. No, no, we're like you guys. We got two heads. <laughs> yeah. Four arms. We're, we're blending in. Come on. It's fine. No, uh... I'm just going to ride on the back, have my head peeking up, you know. Just, yeah, what's up, crew? <laughs> it's like I'm Luke running on with Yoda on my back. Yeah. yeah, yeah, pretty much exactly. I'll be the Yoda. Feel the oxygen flowing for you. <laughs> so since we're at the bottom and the elevators don't work, I'm assuming, um, but the ship is undocked. Can is there anyone we can communicate with the ship to like come get us? <laughs> um, well, we or... haven't undocked yet. Yeah, you have to go manually. Uh, detach the ship from the thing. If gravity's um, off, there's, we could just... There's gotta be, like, um... Yeah, no, he's right, like, though. Gravity is off, so you could kick your way just up. just float our way to the top. Oh, yeah, oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. Nice. Okay. Look at this dude, Papa, with all of his Man. space knowledge. Oh, genius. genius. I know, right? Look at you Second guys. <laughs> we float our way to the top. Who, what is... <laughs> I mean, I'm just riding on the back, yep. so... And then you got your... Bye. Your fishbowl bubble thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah, there it is. Perfect. I love it. Actually, you know what? Let me go back there. <laughs> but that's what I needed. I'm more. just picturing Amber going, Oh my god, what did you eat today? <laughs> your breath is so foul. Oh my god. <laughs> Hang on. Hold your breath. I have some gum. <laughs> you gotta you need tell me you take a selfie through that, right? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Hang on, let me take would a you, selfie. Would you say there's head. would you say there's trouble in that bubble? 
<laughs> no, I would say hashtag bubbling. Bubbling. Bubble, bubble, oh, bubbling. That's a new trend. Ha you, hashtag you, no mask. Were you? Were you, were you <laughs> wolf. Uh, hashtag you, no mask and bubbling. Bubbling. That's definitely going to catch on. All right. So you guys, um, what's a good movie where they kick off like that and they're just kind of floating? Um, I guess maybe just Apollo 13 where they go from the command module to the, the yeah. pod or whatever. Uh, kind of floating yeah. between. So you guys are just kind of flying down the whole main um, section of the um, of the ship or sorry of the station um, you guys get to the top um, I think the doors over here um, have opened or, or were opened before um, so this section was locked off you see two of the creatures still kind of floating over here uh, yeah. but you can make your way pushing off walls you're space savvy um, enough that you can kind of jump your way around uh, and then you make your way over here. I think you get to the doors. Um, or, you know what? I think probably your best bet probably would have been to come back from the... Um, oh, God. It's not a racing. It's, it's just white color. Um, you guys make your way over through one of the other um, cargo areas. Probably go through the vent and then pop back down because this door you want it to kind of remain closed do um, i still fit in the vents oh yeah no that's okay y yeah you you only grew like half a foot taller you're definitely like thicker uh and more muscly um but i mean like i said before we got spacious I mean, burst, vents bursting out of space suit i, I wasn't sure <laughs> i i was tired of walking in my heels i needed to catch a ride <laughs> now i'm just picturing i a personally super mutant think wearing that's heels. a weight joke this this was a weight joke busting out of the suit or what? Nope, wait. Oh, you got me. All right, so um, you're back in the area. You're unclamping the uh, the ship. There's probably some panels you can pop open here that will manually detach the ship, um, at least uh, to the point where the ship can pull away without breaking off part of its hull. Um, the station is starting to, um, I think maybe as you cross over into your ship, you can see that it's starting to plummet toward the surface of Ordis 1. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. We uh, need to leave now. Yep. Yeah, good call. <clears throat> mm -hmm. All right, um, so you get in, your engines are still running from when, um, when, uh, uh, well, from when we were last there. From when QB turned them on last. Um, you locked the ship. Um, you've undocked from the station. And you're away. And I think maybe you wait for a couple minutes as you watch the station kind of plummet into the gray and blue clouds of um, uh, Ordis 1. And you see a distant kind of flash of energy and uh, a bright orange and yellow pulse of fire as it crashes onto the surface. Ooh. And Ouch. you've escaped. Ooh. Ooh. I am well done. so done. I'm retiring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you and me both, brother. We're all going to join the administrator in retirement. <laughs> <laughs> Alright y'all, so that was that was I don't know that this session had a name, but that was visceral mess and stress and um I like to normally ask questions after uh each session. Um it's uh if you could like give me some things that you liked uh, uh or things that I did during the session and maybe things that uh you didn't like or things that I could improve on uh in future sessions. Um so if you guys want to Maybe starting with Tom, what you got? I actually had a lot of fun with this. I didn't think I would <laughs> because we had one number uh -huh. and we rolled against that number. Yeah. But I had a lot of fun with it. Cool. And there was a lot of role play playing, excuse me, role playing, which 
is more of my type of playing. So yeah, I would have to say I really enjoyed it. Cool, cool. Yeah, I think for the most part there wasn't like there was probably at least the same amount of RP dialogue versus just out of character like question asking and stuff, uh, which was mostly just descriptions of the place anyway. So yeah, I think that was pretty cool. Uh, Phoenix, how about you, man? Things you like, things you didn't like, things I could improve on. Yeah, I like the the rolling system too. I mean, I'm more of a fan of simpler, you know, math and it, it being more of like a pass fail type thing rather yeah, than yeah. you know trying to calculate. Okay, that's uh, 14 and <laughs> yeah, <laughs> all that math. Yeah, I mean, I um, mean that some people like that, some people don't like that. So that's fair. I like yeah, that. yeah. Um, and I think I like that there were just two types of roll i guess where yeah, right. one's over one's under i think that made a lot of sense to me because it i mean exactly obviously if you're rolling a stress you're trying to be under the stress level yeah. <laughs> you don't want to go any higher so yeah, that makes yeah. sense to me but yeah it was really good i enjoyed it a lot cool uh thank you angel how about you Am Miss Amber. yeah <laughs> it was my first time playing something like this so i had a lot of fun this right. was very exciting i look forward to doing something like this again um i really liked some of the concepts that were happening going around a lot of ideas that were bouncing around were really fun too yeah so that was really cool and yeah vibes all around were just real good may i say something with angel please oh yeah yes. go ahead. um my daughter who is 14 mm -hmm. is an aspiring artist and next time we play i would really like her to be in on it because i like some of your art and i oh, think you. you would be able to um share with her of course anytime i just like drawing in general i'm really into drawing D, &D characters because i got kind of addicted blame papa but anyways yeah, I don't know if Miranda's <laughs> much in D&D. &D. She's a lot into anime. Mm -hmm. I mean, literally during the break, she was sitting there looking at me like, I oh, want to yeah. draw something other than anime. And I'm like, well, then do it. Yeah, <laughs> but, yeah. I mean, no, so I have, I know, like, I'm a just... very anime art style, but you can always adapt it to any sort of situation yeah. and make it feel different or have a different vibe to it. I, it doesn't like, necessarily have to be anime. I feel like I completely got, like, agree. From from doing all the anime art, she definitely has like the body uh, perspective and shape stuff down really well. So We're getting there. She can bang out like the the basic body shape and everything of whatever she wants to draw really quickly. So that's definitely a skill that Take a lot even if it started in just drawing anime characters, that's definitely a skill you can translate to oh, other yeah. styles of art and stuff too. Um, Cobra, how about you, dude? Oh, um, well, first and foremost, I think you had a, good, a great eye in just gathering all of us together. I thought we had like really good ideas and synergy and I just thought you together a really awesome group for oh. especially for my first time like you guys were all amazing <laughs> first time this is this You're is awesome. this is yeah. is, is I, this I, your like first ttrpg thing um i mean i i technically did a D, &D thing like way back in high school but i mm -hmm. feel like a lot of us really weren't into it especially with the role play aspect so it was really just us talking at each other right. so mm -hmm. i like i hesitate to really count that as my first experience or it, it, ha it technically does but it wasn't a very memorable one unlike this one which i would which i definitely would say i, I want to count this one as my very first one because i enjoyed it so well, much dude like you uh and like not to not to out Kroba, but she was initially like, well, I don't really know about the whole role playing, but I feel like she kind of knocked it out of the park, right? Like okay. believable, yeah, believable android so with like uh, not it. wearing a helmet and trying to fit in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So I think I yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, as first times in RPG stuff goes, definitely awesome. Uh, I would give you a plus. Oh, thank you. Uh, as I a really player. appreciate it. Uh, Papa, how about um, you, man? Let me. Oh, go ahead. Uh, oh no, sorry. I was just gonna say, um, I I really liked that. Uh, you seem to always have like answers to our questions. It's like I right? so just felt like really really prepared. Um, I think the only thing I would say is that for me personally, I think I felt a little bit overpowered. So, oh, like as a person <laughs> like, or whatever. I'm just like as an android. So like I I guess the only like 
super tiny piece of critique I would have is like it, it, this might just be the uh, product of like circumstance and yeah. that the situation maybe didn't even call for it mm -hmm. but like if there were uh, more opportunities to put a person like me at five in a more stressful situation where I would have to roll for that yeah um, I think maybe it would make a, a character like mine more balanced that's like the only yeah. thing probably. I think I think in that respect like um, there would be it would probably be better in situations that were maybe like more um social interaction based like if you were trying mm -hmm. to sneak into some place or like try to pretend to be somebody or something like True, that True, yeah so i think yeah like you mentioned i think in circumstance this was like like <laughs> you're in a horror movie oh well i got this android here oh okay i guess we'll be all right <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah, we got the Terminator we're fighting yeah, Terminator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or if, or if, um, I mean, like, what's um, who was the 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 android from Aliens? Um, oh, Bishop. Bishop yeah. yeah. I mean, Bishop oh. was pretty kind of mm -hmm. handy to have around, right? Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, I think I think just in circumstance, you it was kind of. But I don't I don't know I I didn't feel like you were like kind of strong arming the situation. Like you, I feel like the group was. As we as we went, there were like parts where it was like, oh, oh no. Oh, thank God we have her. Yeah. Yeah. yeah some of that, some oh, of that was like, yeah, like it was role based too, right? Like you had yeah, some pretty yeah. good roles. Yeah, like you, mine, you I long. had that epic miss where it was like, oh, oh, you're gonna blow a scaffold off, but you're gonna also blow a hole in his face. Good job. <laughs> oh no. Okay, yeah. well that's good. I, so. I, maybe that was just a personal feeling of mine, but that, that I did. I guess it was super role dependent anyway, and plus. I, I do love how my role play did affect the situation and that me like talking out loud actually affected like the environment so I super enjoyed that. Cool. Yeah. Alright, I mean that's the Let's job go. of a DM. <laughs> Take what you say you, you, you I mean you, th you think so, but I mean some DMs are kinda quiet and some DMs are new and that's they true. don't have all the skill sets and everything. So I mean every DM is different, I think. Side note. Yeah. That's very Fellow true. Fellow DM. What were your Hello. what were your your likes or dislikes? Your critiques? I had a fantastic time, and uh, Cobra just if you thought you were overpowered, did you should see one of my campaigns. Yeah, <laughs> you should see no. one. Yeah. No, like the first yeah. time I the first time I I heard about Angel's character in Papa's campaign, I was like, fucking excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> She's a little why. overpowered. Yeah, um, let's sorry. just say uh, Tom, her stats are like. 18, 15, 14, 14, 10. Oh, no, no. 13? No, there's a couple of 19s in there. There's yeah, a couple now, of 19s. Now there hang is. on, hang on, hang on. I'll go uh, grab them. You're good, you're good. Let's, let's. Move. But, yeah, we don't need to shock anyone any further. It's fine. <laughs> I'm uh, not getting uh, my No more shocking. Uh, anything I could do to improve or. But first, uh, first and foremost, fantastic session. Thank you so much for DMing. We really appreciate yes, it. Thank you. Uh, Dude, you know, Joe, how much I appreciate you DMing, so there's no there's no talking about it. I personally appreciate how you DM. You brought me on a year and a half ago during COVID, so I can say nothing but praise to you, and I'll let the others bring you down. <laughs> I'll take my question off here. <laughs> Okay, there we I go. Posted. Mean, nothing to bring down, right? So, uh, love this game style. Uh, this is my first time playing something that's space themed. Uh, okay. Most of my other games have been just fantasy D and D style themed. Uh, so it's really nice to have a refreshing change of pace. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, you know, it, it's a great setting. I like how you kept it small and compact without you know giving us too much freedom in mm -hmm. you know just a short amount of time. But uh, I'm sure, I'm sure there were plenty of times where you had to improvise during the session. But I couldn't tell when you had to improvise, which yeah, you know, totally. just sh just shows how great you DM. That's so. that I think is one of the best compliments I've received. Oh, uh, like, thank you. I, I appreciate it, all it, the compliments I I received oh. as a DM. But the fact that you couldn't tell when I had to improvise and when I was wasn't improvising, that's like mm, it's it's a telltale sign. It's like for sure. when you can't tell when they're totally improvising. True. It's like totally okay. True. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, let's uh, let's end the session here. Is there anything, uh, Tom? Is there anything you want to plug or any 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 projects? Anything you're working on? Uh, I got nothing to plug. You got nothing. All right. How about you, Phoenix? <laughs> I've I've um, shouted everyone else in the chat. Um, so, uh, is there anything specifically, Phoenix? You're working whoa, on? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh. Hang on. 
Let me plug one thing. Okay, go ahead. Plug you. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to myself. <laughs> Yeah. Shout out to yourself, brother. Oh, I was last playing you tabletop You are my brother RPGs. from another mother, and I will shout you out for all day long. Thank you, sir. Oh, fuck yeah. Uh, Phoenix, you got any projects or anything uh, other than your uh, stream you got going on? Or any, any co collab works you're going to be doing with other streamers? or Not at the moment, but okay. it may happen sometime in the future. So Cool, cool. Uh, Angel, how about you? Um, I will give you the whole official Angel Productions... <laughs> thing I do when people raid me. I have a whole, like, All right. script. Let's hear it. Small one. Because I didn't do it properly last time, so I might as well do it this time. Okay. okay. Hi, my name is Angel Productions Games. You can call me Angel for short. I'm a variety streamer. I do a variety of things, and today we are playing some whatever this is. <laughs> Visceral mess and stress. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and today we're playing some visceral mess and stress. <laughs> and it's so stressful, guys. It's the most. Yeah, that's stressful. how that goes. Nice. <laughs> All right, uh, Cobra. How about you, dude? What do you got going on? What uh, what sort of projects? Any anything coming up besides uh, your streams? I mean, I guess it specifically, and obviously anybody here is more than welcome to join. But next Friday is going to be a Mario Kart night. And I do Whoa. Mario Karts every other week, and that's going to be next week on August 6th, 8 p.m. PST. Um, so definitely anybody in you know playing tonight, feel free to join. That's August I, 6th. I would just like to preface that don't expect to win, because Cobra will absolutely destroy <laughs> oh, you every single race. Like, drunk or sober. Drunk Ouch. or sober. I challenged her to drink every time she won, and she still was beating everybody. Oh so, my god! Yeah, Amazing. It's not, there's no handicap. She will just absolutely. What was the drink? Uh, oh, yeah, what was but that? it was um just vodka and mixed with some Fanta. She was just, she was well, she was just doing straight vodka. shots. She was just doing straight shots. The drink, drink of she, my people. <laughs> I, I can't. Vodka. I can't. I can't do. I can't do anything that's not uh uh clear. <laughs> no, 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 Johnny Walker's not vodka, clear. But yeah. Go with Johnny Walker. <laughs> Duly noted. <laughs> um, I, I will say, sorry, I uh, forgot to mention that I usually do streams on Saturdays, and then Sundays is D and D day with Papa here as well. Uh, so Papa, we have Sundays. Anything you well, like if you ever need a fat white guy, you let me know. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, uh, my name is Papa Laflaga. I do uh, plot streams and crafting streams. Uh, on Thursdays and D and D on Sundays, uh, so feel free to check out my Twitch channel, as well as uh, my Instagram page where I post regular pictures of things Just I do. Just really cool pictures. What's oh. what's your next gunplay you doing? You want to decide for me? <gasps> do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. That's a big. That's a big. Uh, I uh, I posted a bunch of pictures of my backlog in the Discord, so pick from there and I'll build it next Thursday. Oh, and okay. something he forget. hasn't told you guys, if you roll a d20 in his chat and you get a nat 20, mm. you get to add something to the campaign. It, it, it's similar to Ooh. what uh, Hungry's got set up here, but I don't want too much stuff added in, so yeah. I let the dice decide. If a person rolls a d20 and a nat 20 in the chat, nice. you get to add something. All right, Joel, I still have to add mine. Thank you I see for... Papa Flaga is sitting there drinking Jameson as a person who personally goes with the other brand. <laughs> <laughs> you let me know when you need me. <laughs> oh, gotcha. um, thank you for playing, guys. I had a really fun time. Um, anytime I have space available, again, in our Discord, I'll be posting um, when we have one-off uh, stuff that's open. Uh, our main campaign is actually going to be on a temporary hiatus. So um, we're either going to be having a mini uh, regular D&D &D campaign or fit in uh, just more one-offs like this, um, at least for the foreseeable future. Um, next, not next Friday, but the next two Fridays, we have our second session of uh, Into the Shadowlands, um, which is the, um, uh, the, um, ah, dang it, the Hedge Mage uh, campaign. Well, it was a one-off, and now it's. It was a one-off, and now it's a full a thing. <laughs> nice. um, um, Angel will be uh, back again playing that, um, uh, along yes. with. Um, uh, a day Matt's, before my birthday. Matt. 
from um, uh, First Level Geek, um, a, um, aka Matt Stewdrinker, uh, as well as uh, Joe uh, from our regular main campaign. Um, and then we have uh, Papa will be joining us um, uh, for that as well as our fourth character. Uh, so keep an eye out for that uh, next week. I'm not entirely sure what we're playing, but I'll, I'll definitely have something set up. Cool. Damn Figure it, it if out. I don't love to play TTRPGs all the goddamn time. Um, so keep an eye out for that as well. And I'll uh, oh, if God have any questions, uh, just It'll message me. It'll be a nice birthday surprise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, be sure to message me. We can get you stuck in if you've never played before. If you definitely want to be looking out for more players and repeat players, you know, we had a good good time here. This is an awesome crew. I'm going to have to give this crew some sort of name, like Space Crew or um, something. We'll figure it out. Um, but uh, I had a great time DMing for you guys. I, I'm glad that you guys had a good time, too. Um, we're going to go ahead and raid our friend Nama Ikialo because I haven't Nama. raided him in quite a while. So we've got Yay. our uh, raid alerts coming up here. So first one is going to be if you are subbed. Second one, if you are Engage. not subbed, uh, be sure to show Nama uh, some uh, hungry, hungry love. Uh, and as always, everyone... Uh, stay hungry, my friends. Okay. <laughs> I was eating all of you guys. It was so fun. Yeah.